whichever one of those wins is going to be celebrated in the chair. And there are a couple of players I want to talk about as well that were kind of challenging uh, that tilt. It's actually, do you know what? I'm going to leave it to I'm going to let the story tell yeah, itself. Do you know why? Because it's time to get into game number one, baby. Kanavitsa, I hope you're ready for this one. Round number one is underway. Gentlemen, take it away. Oh, man. So, Fax Fox, we wanted to look at this man in particular. And I'm a little bit disappointed off the bat here. At least in solos, I'll say this, though, Speedy. We talked about him, and he's been so vocal about how often he wants to go with Tilted. But he's given it up off the bat. So adaptations, as we were just talking on the desk, we're seeing players do that, at least here in solos so far today. I 100% expected him to drop Tilted, but it looks like he's opting to go into one of his most populated, more contested areas now. Sure. So the reason you land here in Diner is because you don't want to get contested, but didn't really work out according to plan. All right, so while we do see this fight breaking down as Nate takes down Shinken, she should update you as well around the map. We actually do have a relatively good spread across. We got a couple of players already being dropped as well. So I'm trying to go over the list. Is any notable names that you'd like Demo to Demo taking down Eric. Yeah, it's going to be up an interesting fight here. He actually does have the higher position up against him. He's just looking for that shot. He's got the shotgun. He's trying to go for the replacer. He's trying to take down multiple walls so he can get control of it. Marana is so weak here. And Kuna knows it. He Ooh. gets into his box. The trap goes down. And actually, he got the great little replace. So he's not getting the elimination just yet. Another place to become, he will take down Marana. So that'll be his first elimination. We heard a trap go down in the last second there. A couple of clingers as well. Huh. Even scored it. The disrespect. Let's just uh, go our separate ways here. Yeah, let's just back away. Let's just play for the later on stages of this one. Mitt's still looking for Krippa, and Krippa seems to be the one wanting to take the fight here. Yeah, so it even though Krippa has high ground, Mitt is healthy here. And he's making the push happen. Only eight builds, seven builds left here for Krippa as he's using all of his materials for this engagement. Down to nine HP. He's got a first aid kit, but the stink the bomb comes through. And it looks like the stink bomb will take him down. Mitt gets the elimination, and more importantly, gets his first on the board. We'd love to see it. Miss performing well in a tournament environment. Come around Jordan now, the other X2 player with Seth hot on his heels. He's got a decent kit to use too. He's got a slurp in there, a couple of small shields. Yeah, he's looking good. Definitely playing for endgame. It's kind of what we expected to see, right? The first game, everyone just feeling each other out. You know, aggressive players like Faxbox, no eliminations yet, first circle in. Uh, typical of what, you know, a first game should kind of look like. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Stink Bomb coming in. He knows there's a player there now taking a little bit of damage. Throws it ahead of him, trying to catch him off guard. Seth is just being pressured as Jordan's looking to actually close in on this elimination potentially. He's got the shotgun for up close play. He's going for the replace. He gets it. He goes for the edit as well, but that's a great escape here by Seth. But for how long, actually? Seth actually escapes and manages to turn around to take down Jordan. We'll start, which is very important for here, Dementos. On Team Secret now, going for a little engagement. Up against Saf, and Saf is the player I have to win this whole thing, to win this whole tournament solos. And no! Saf, Saf goes, goes down. down! The commentator's curse comes through. My boy Saf, I'm sorry, I apologize. But Dementos, that was a fantastic shot. I'm so upset. I really want <laughs> to see Saf in the end game and show us what, what he could do. We got a pirate cannon. We have a cannon. We got a pirate cannon. cannon. I want to see someone get an elimination with this. Hell, I want to see someone blast out of it like Team Rocket and get it across the other side of the map. And our Provoked is going to be on the high ground. He's got Vilux and Blood X under him. It's kind of funny that we see these players setting up here. They know there's a cannon. Really good in case they don't get circled. Just kind of launch out of there. If you're in a cannon, uh, you're 260 meters in one yeah. direction. And you can do a lot of damage with it too. You, you can, can do, do it's 100 direct, it's like 50 splash. That's a lot of damage. That's to do. a lot of damage that you can inflict on yeah. your opponent. Their Vilix, really weak. Yeah, I think I think it might be time to use the Rift here to escape this one just to go for the first aid. We've got the Storm Surge coming through. He's actually below the threshold. Now he's going to be above it, luckily for him. But the pressure is going to be coming through and provoked. Going to get that elimination, you get his first now. Thing is, him and uh, Skix were actually two of the players a lot of people were pointing out in particular that just didn't seem to really rise to the occasion last week. But here's a different chance. Aim Hero, one of the Korean players here, he ended up dropping tilted. I guess uh, his teammate. That's, that might have been the reason they might have flipped the coin. Maybe. Said Aim Hero. Ooh, you know, a lot of them coming through. Those Zextro gets on the board. The Vic gets on the board as well. And players are starting to drop like flies. It's Aim Hero trying to live up to his name here, and he won't be able to. That'll be Hoopik able to come up big. And now uh, Camo. Goes Camo moving on in for the third party. Heard a lot of action. There's also most of these players at the broken pirate outpost need to start going on in. I expect a launch pad going in. This is TSM taking out Krippa. Yeah, good old Love myth. 
And then Seth as well. Nice little drop down. He actually catches his opponent off guard. He wasn't even looking towards him. I always get nervous get when I see them drop into a box. Traps could go down, could easily turn the other direction. Yeah, and you don't want to uh, be eliminated from a trap, at least in game one. Mitro as well, looking for the shot the window. I believe he did get that one. But now we've got Camo there. We've got Nate, Scram, Tomo from Alliance, Sakona as well. Smeep off to the side. Again, the duo from Milan. He's got six skicks under them, but we're at these, these stages where everyone's going to be on everyone. So by hitting these shots, getting the eliminations where you can get them. You can see Jarko still just looking for a couple of shots here in between. He's got a launch pad, so there's no need for him to rush into the circle just yet. Yeah, the ideal situation here is that someone else puts down their launch pad and you just take their launch pad. You don't, you don't really want to put down your own. Yeah. You want to save it for endgame, save it for that, you know, those long moving circles. And most of these players, over here by the diner definitely needs to start thinking about that rotation. Cloud has fallen, by the way. So TSM going to be losing another player so far in Kuna's this round. Kuna's still in it. Yeah, he's still around. And Zeke as well. Like The, the thing is, I, I don't mean it to sound bad, but there was a lot of underperforming out of players that we saw in the Polish tournament that we expected to be into the top levels. Now going into this tournament, which is, I mean, unarguably a more difficult tournament for everyone, it's going to be even more uh, harder for him to perform, right? Yeah. You would imagine, but he's been able to break top 50 so far. Yeah, players like Zeke, who maybe didn't perform as well as they might have wanted in last week's tournament, definitely a chip on their shoulder. We definitely want to prove it to themselves and everyone here. Jarkus can... has gone down. The Brazilians have struck. History gets his elimination on the board, eliminating our wild card player. And look at this. We see, I believe there's cannons coming through. Liquid a lot of Chap being still done. alive. I believe I saw Razaru. Energy Zate, another NA player that you want to keep an eye on. Definitely. One of the top. I believe this is Saf's teammate. Yep, Saf and Zate, different orgs, but friends nonetheless here. But yeah. we're seeing that we're even hearing some bottle rockets going off. You can see Zate trying to get some high ground, though he's not going to have the ultimate high ground. It's going to be Alpha, the one to have this, looking for some shot. He's got a, a couple of clingers. It's not very often, Speedy. We see clingers last this long into the game. No, probably just saving it here for endgame. Trying, you definitely want to save those clingers for you know some easy, quick cleanup kills so that you can get your HP up. Energy Zate, Zate just kind of holding that wall. Getting a couple of rockets off here there, too. Trying to I, get spammed out of Alpha. Alpha just not letting up. And when you're in high ground like this, you definitely don't want to let up. You want to get as many tags as possible. Ghost Bizzle still alive. Well, this is now the question as we get to as Funk Bomb has been eliminated. The storm is going to start to move here momentarily. And this is where people need to have that material to build to get across to be able to maintain some sort of positions. I want to see how Alpha is going to try to maintain this high ground. He's going to have to be very careful in how he builds. Those launch pads as well. I think everyone's going to be jumping on top of this here, Speedy. You can see the pressure starting to tick in here. A lot of elimination, a lot of damage being done. Skix has fallen. Sakona takes down Nate. Faye's going to be out, I believe, with their two players. And Bizzle, he's just trying not to get pushed on. He's trying to not be aggressive on. He's looking to retreat away from this one, looking for another fight. He might be able to get it here. He might be able to get this elimination done. He's still looking for the damage. The building has come in. He's down to 50 HP. He could lose this fight potentially, Speedy. Bizzle's so weak here. Dropping into his box. He ends go. up turning it around. Takes down Little J. Zextro as well going to fall, one of the most aggressive players we have in Fortnite. Liquid Camo. Vivid, Vinny still alive. Camo still alive. Bizzle just trying to get his HP up after that engagement. I think Nikoff, um, well, he died to the Storm Surge. A little unfortunate for there. Not going to be in the best situation. Demo's going to fall there, as you see from the low ground. Jam side, where did he even come from? He's somehow been able to take the ultimate high ground away from everyone as the Storm continues to move through. Look, everyone with Crazy Lombin out going. Japan has lost out a player. And Jam side, he's got three eliminations. That's 15 points already. Can he maintain the spot, though? Jam side with 16 builds left. He can't maintain this high ground. He actually gets to drop down 10 more builds. He has to get an elimination here. 105 pump going on in. Looking for Zayd, and he's too focused on Zayd. He's being shot from a couple of different directions. You can see Bizzle there towards the low ground. Speed, Vinny, you have Skeet to the left-hand side with Camo and Animal. Zayd's fallen. He's now dropped out of this one. Jam side going to be floating back in to retain or retain this high ground position. Bizzle, Bizzle trying challenge. to take high ground. Bizzle ends up taking the high ground from Jam side. Jam side, no builds left. This is tough. How do you get out of this position? He's got the maximum shield he can he possibly does, get here. He has a lot of play. He can't even put it down because he has no builds. Oh, he's looking to escape this, looking to maybe build down through this tower as the storms and eventually close in on him. Tomo is looking very good. Back to full HP. Vinny on a sliver of health left. He's just trying to stay alive towards the lower end side. Jamside ended up out. going down, but Ghost Bizzle maintains the high ground. 
Oh, he's trying to. He's got enough builds to do. He's got a first aid kit if he needs as well. Animal has fallen as Smee's able to get his elimination being brought in by Milan as his dual partner and doing some serious work here. It's Bizzle on the high ground able to help get the Skeet damage. goes down 1v1. Skeet. Skeet's the one to get these eliminations. Down to that 1v1. He's going to drop down, take a little bit of damage from this one, but Kenny's elimination. 14 builds left to go. He's got the shotgun. He knows where his enemy's going to be, but the time is taken away. He goes for the jump shot, actually on the build as well, trying to look for any sort of damage he can engage with before he goes for the drop, before he goes Bizzle with Novar shot. builds. Well, now he's going to have to engage in this one, right, Speedy? You can see towards the he left. He has to guys, drop down. He has to damage. drop 50 down. 50 HP left. He's still trying to spread. Yes, and G with 19 HP. Bizzle takes the first victory out of today. Bizzle, our secret skirmish.